I have had so many people call me up because apparently I bought a new house in South London. You did? <laughs> Which is completely false. According to reports out of England earlier this year, Hollywood's most adorable couple, Tom Holland and Zendaya, are taking the next step from being co-stars in love to cohabitants in London. Everyone's favorite celebrity couple first met in 2016 on the set of Spider-Man Homecoming. And although dating rumors sprung up almost at once, these two managed to keep their relationship on the down low. That was until Holland dedicated an Instagram post to Zendaya by referring to her as his MJ. Following in the wake of paparazzi shots showing the two of them sharing a tender moment in a car together. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. It also recently emerged that the relationship between these two almost didn't happen after a longtime Spider-Man producer, Amy Pascal, urged the co-stars not to get involved with one another. Amy described her conversations with both actors to the New York Times, telling them, I took Tom and Zendaya aside separately when we first cast them and gave them a lecture. Don't go there, just don't. Try not to. I gave the same advice to Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone. It can just complicate things, you know? And they all ignored me. Then when the calendar flipped to 2022, Tom and Zendaya apparently started getting very serious about one another. Not only were these two lovebirds spotted taking a walk around the streets of London while visiting Tom's folks, the trip ended with them both hanging out with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. It was shortly after their trip abroad that the London press caught wind of Tom's rumored new piece of real estate. Until quite recently, Tom had been living with his mom and dad about a mile from where his new property is said to be located in South West London. When he's not filming blockbuster movies, Holland is regularly seen in that neck of the woods, hanging out with his three brothers and childhood friends at local pubs. And according to these reports, Holland wasn't looking to move far away from the area of the city that he's known for so long. Situated in the upscale community of Richmond, an area that's long been popular with celebrities like Mick Jagger, Angelina Jolie, Lee, Tom Hardy, and even David Attenborough, Tom's new neighborhood is often referred to as London's response to English country living. Tom's new home might not feature views of the River Thames, which is located only a few miles away, but according to sources, the home was purchased in 2018. It then sat vacant for the next few years as Tom paid for a series of extensive renovations that set him back a further seven figures. With so much about this home being up in the air, details about its interior are slim. But here's what we know. The house is said to boast three stories, six bedrooms, and a similar number of bathrooms. Once the remodeling was complete, Tom had apparently paid for the additions of a home theater, sauna, games room, a timber clad garden room that overlooks his landscaped backyard, as well as a fully stocked gym to keep his action film physique in shape. Oh, and he also demanded that an eight foot tall security gate be built around the law. When the English media reached out to sources close to the two actors, there was speculation that Tom and Zendaya were picking out furniture with one another and expected to move in together by the end of the summer. One source even told the Daily Mail, Tom has spent quite some time making this house into his perfect home and Zendaya has been visiting London. So let's see. They are Hollywood's hot young couple and don't want to be apart. Ensuring that they're never apart for too long might also result in Tom hanging up his spider threads because ever since reportedly by Buying this place, Tom has been coy about his future as Spider-Man, even hinting that he might retire from the role sometime in the future. He told People Magazine, I've spent the last six years being so focused on my career. I want to take a break and focus on starting a family and figuring out what I want to do outside of this world. I love kids. I can't wait to be a dad. I can wait and I will, but I can't wait. Reading between the lines, it definitely sounds like Tom is ready to get serious about taking his relationship to the next 
next level. But were the accuracy of these reports on point or did we all get a little ahead of ourselves? A few weeks after reports began to circulate about his plans to move in with Zendaya, Tom Holland would appear on Live with Kelly and Ryan, where he was questioned by Ryan Seacrest about his reported new home in London, only to wind up appearing baffled about the entire thing. Not only did Tom deny his intentions of moving into a home with Zendaya, he stated that the reports of him buying a home in London were outright false. When Seacrest pushed a little further and asked Tom where he thought the rumors might have come from, Tom admitted to having no idea. However, a few weeks later, while still undertaking his Uncharted press tour, Tom took part in the infamous BuzzFeed puppy interview, during which he let slip an interesting word choice that implied he was indeed living with someone. While playing lovingly with one of the puppies, Tom invites one of the animals to come and live in his apartment with us and be our puppy. Who he's referring to here is unclear. It's quite possible he's talking about any one of his three brothers because reports in the past have suggested that they tend to follow him around whenever he's living on location filming. Or it could be his Emmy winning girlfriend and everything else he said over the past year is just to throw the public off. Because let's be honest, even if Tom did move in with Zendaya, there's almost no way he'd outright admit it. Not with the number of eyes that are constantly on these two thanks to their high profile careers. But one thing's for sure, whether these two live together or or not, Zendaya recently made a new real estate purchase that displayed she has as special a bond with her parents as Tom does with his. It's no secret that Tom is close with his folks. After all, the first time we ever even heard of him potentially striking out on his own was on Ellen DeGeneres' talk show where he admitted to still be living with his folks at the age of 20. I mean, that's normal, but when you're a celebrity, it's kind of different. But Zendaya's relationship with her parents isn't all that different. In fact, up until recently, she was still splitting her time alternating between living with her father and mother following their 2016 divorce. That's despite the fact that she already owned multiple properties of her own. Now records reveal that the 26 year old actress bought her father, Oakland native Kazembe Coleman, a $1.9 million residence in the suburban outskirts of Los Angeles, otherwise known as San Fernando Valley's West Hills neighborhood. Originally built in the 1990s, this two story residence has been renovated sometime over the past decade. And today, the front door opens into a double height foyer with walls painted an eye-pleasing shade of pale blue. Elsewhere in the home, both the living and family rooms offer a fireplace of their own, while the formal dining room nearby boasts French doors that provide direct access to the outdoor pool area. The fully renovated kitchen boasts white quartz countertops and brown cabinets that contrast nicely with some cozy Eden bar seating. All in all, there are said to be five bedrooms scattered throughout the roughly 3,400 square foot home, with two of them being located on the main floor and three being a short walk upstairs. One of the downstairs rooms has been used as an office space in recent years, while the master suite upstairs offers a dedicated sitting area, a luxuriously remodeled bathroom, and a private balcony with mountain and city light views. Other outdoor amenities that this property boasts include a raised spa out back that joins with the home swimming pool, as well as a built-in barbecue center with bar seating. There's even a covered terrace that provides some protection from that San Fernando Valley heat when you'd rather dine al fresco. And on those rare nights when it gets a little too chilly on the other hand, there's also a circular fire pit out here. Would Zendaya have bought this home if she was in the midst of moving to London full time to live with Tom Holland? Well, well, it's kind of hard to know for sure. Considering how close she is with her parents, this could potentially be her way of apologizing to her father for moving so far away. But it's also just as likely that she bought this home so that she could have a new place to hang out with her pops. At the end of the day, it's basically impossible to tell for sure if Tom and Zendaya are living together, but it seems there hasn't been much proof to back up the media's claims. At least not yet. One thing's for sure, however, these two definitely seem tailor-made for one another. So here's to hoping that they eventually wind up taking the plunge one day. Until then, that'll bring this latest house tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching, and before you head out, answer this one question for me. 
If you were in the middle of a high profile relationship and decided to move in together, would you reveal this to the press or deny the story to protect your privacy? Let me know what you would do if you were in their shoes. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss a tour. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.